The fastest way to break someone down is by constantly correcting them, even over the smallest things. You might think you're just being helpful, but correction is often criticism in disguise. And over time, it chips away at a person's confidence. Have you ever seen someone who was bright and curious as a child, but grew up to be quiet, unmotivated, and anxious? It's not because they were born lazy, it's because they were overcorrected. Psychology has an explanation for this. The human brain has a self-protection mechanism that helps us grow and adapt, but constant correction shuts that mechanism down. For example, maybe you're tired and lying on the couch scrolling your phone, and someone says, that's bad for your eyes, or you're doing your homework and they say, sit up straight, why are you sitting like that? You clean the room and still hear, you can't even do this simple thing, right? These may seem like small comments, but over time they add up. Eventually, your brain starts whispering, I can't do anything right. So you stop trying. You start procrastinating. You avoid making decisions. On the surface, you might look lazy, but in reality, you're just exhausted from constantly being judged. And this doesn't only happen in childhood. It can show up in adult relationships too. When your partner constantly corrects you, it's not care. It's control disguised as concern. Over time, you stop trusting yourself. You second guess everything. You can't make decisions. You feel anxious, heartbroken, and helpless. But here's the truth. The problem isn't you. It's the other person's need for control. They're afraid of losing it, so they micromanage everything you do. That's not love, it's manipulation. Real love gives you space. It encourages you, helps you grow, and allows you to make mistakes. Because true growth comes from self-correction, not from someone watching your every move. So if you're stuck in this kind of cycle, it's time to wake up.